My grandmother was four foot 11 and we called her Big Mama. It's pretty remarkable if you see pictures of her to imagine that anyone would call her big anything. She was a force to be reckoned with. She was a faculty wife. She was a mother of three. She was a mathematician at NASA, and they were involved in the church. And so she might have been four foot 11, but to us, she was big mama. I was a student at UPenn. I was a double major with history and Afro-American studies. And what I learned when I was in college was that desegregation began in 1954. My grandmother started working at NASA in 1943. The grounds of NASA actually used to be Chesterville Plantation. That is a remarkable history. When I started to learn about World War II and the segregation during that time, and I learned about FDR signing the Executive Order 8802, which desegregated federal jobs, it helped me realize the magnitude of what my grandmother did, because then I was able to understand the time that she did it in. My grandmother worked on Friendship 7. My grandmother also met John Glenn. Friendship 7 was one of the flights that we launched off into space. It happened a few years before we went to the moon. My grandmother worked at NASA until 66. We didn't get to the moon until 1969. However, when she was doing the calculations, she wasn't always informed what she was doing the calculations for. I'm extremely grateful to McAllister College because McAllister believed in this project before anyone had heard about this project. So in 2013, I got grant money from the college to do research for both the book and to take the primary documents from my research and turn them into a digital archive. We celebrate digital humanities at McAllister, and it was a part of one of those initiatives to create a teaching tool for the classroom. I want young people to think of the African-American experience as the American experience. 